Hi friends, today we will be talking about the beta oxidation of fatty acid. The mitochondrial oxidation of fatty acid undergoes three stages in which the first stage is beta oxidation. It is the successive removal of two carbon atoms starting from the carboxyl terminal of the fatty acid in the form of acetyl-CoA. Say for example, you start with a 16 carbon atom that is palmitic acid. This palmitic acid will undergo 7 passes of beta oxidation. The last two carbons that is say C15 and 16 remain as acetyl-CoA. Thus in all, a 16 carbon fatty acid will result in the formation of 8 molecules of 2 carbon acetyl-CoA. In each pass of beta oxidation, there is removal of 4 hydrogen atoms by dehydrogenases. In the second stage, the acetyl-CoA molecule undergoes complete oxidation to carbon dioxide via the citric acid cycle. The NADH and FADH2, the reduced coenzymes which are produced in both these stages, that is stage 1 of beta oxidation and stage 2 of citric acid cycle, now enter the respiratory electron transfer chain to undergo oxidative phosphorylation. In the process, the electrons are transferred to oxygen with the concomitant conversion of ADP to ATP. So this phosphorylation of ADP to form ATP. So thus the energy of the fatty acid is conserved in the form of ATP. So let's have a closer look at this first stage that is beta oxidation. The beta oxidation of fatty acids occurs in four steps. Beta oxidation is the first stage of fatty acid oxidation. Step 1 is dehydrogenation or oxidation. Here, the oxidation of fatty acyl CoA introduces a double bond between the alpha and beta carbon atoms, yielding a trans delta 2 enoyl CoA. The step may be catalyzed by any of the three isoenzyme forms of acyl CoA dehydrogenase. The very long chain fatty acyl CoA dehydrogenase, that is VLCAD, acts on the fatty acids containing 12 to 18 carbon atoms. The medium chain that is MCAD acts on fatty acids of 4 to 14 carbon atoms. The short chain that is SCAD acts on fatty acids of 4 to 8 carbon atoms. These enzymes use FAD as the prosthetic group. FAD accepts the electrons removed from the fatty acyl CoA and transfers them to the electron transferring protein that is ETF which is the carrier of mitochondrial respiratory chain. Step 2 is hydration. Water is added to the double bond of trans delta 2 enoyl CoA forming L beta hydroxyacyl CoA. The reaction is catalyzed by enoyl CoA hydratase. Step 3 is again oxidation or dehydrogenation. Here the beta hydroxyacyl CoA is dehydrogenated by beta hydroxyacyl CoA dehydrogenase with NAD plus as the electron acceptor to form beta ketoacyl CoA. NADH then transfers its electron to NADH dehydrogenase of mitochondrial respiratory chain. Step 4 is cleavage or thiolysis. It is catalyzed by thiolase or acyl-CoA acetyl transferase with free coenzyme A. There is a splitting of beta-ketoacyl-CoA from the carboxyl terminal of the 2-carbon fragment as acetyl-CoA. The other product is coenzyme A ester of the fatty acid now shortened by 2 carbon atoms. Six more passes through this pathway will give seven more molecules of acetyl-CoA. Thus, in all, eight molecules of acetyl-CoA are formed if we start from 16 carbon palmitate that has entered as palmityl-CoA. For one pass, the equation for palmityl-CoA in beta-oxidation is palmityl-CoA plus CoA plus FAD plus NAD plus plus H2O to give Myristyl-CoA plus Acetyl-CoA plus FADH2 plus NADH plus H plus.